Remember when we used a packing box for a coffee table? <laughs> Yeah, exposed. About the first two months I was in Arizona, we had a U-Haul box as a coffee slash dining room table. And then here I was being like, why doesn't this feel like home? <laughs> there is a time and a season for the U-Haul box and that season has passed. Hey, Joseph was dedicated to the Lord's will in my life and that U-Haul box was a means to an end, but it was not the destination. He's also the terror of demons. Thanksgiving to all you Americans out there. If you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, you can celebrate St. Joseph today because we are here talking all about him. I mean, what a guy. What a guy. What a family man. St. Joseph, to know him is to love him. He is the patron of the Universal Church, that's us, fathers, workers, travelers, immigrants, and my personal favorite, he is the patron of a happy death. You wanna know why? I'll tell you. St. Joseph is the patron of the dying and those wishing to have a happy death because he died very close to Jesus and Mary, which is hashtag goals. St. Joseph has taught me many things, most especially in the school of confidence. I like to think about when the angel appeared to him for the second time, Matthew chapter two, to tell him that his family was in danger and they needed to flee. He, without question, got up, got his family, fled to a strange land, left his home, to make sure his family was safe. He didn't question God. He didn't ask, why are you doing this? He was assured by the message of an angel to not be afraid, so he clung to those words. He put his faith in the Lord and trusted in what was spoken to him by the Lord. His confidence in the Lord made the Holy Family a family. He trusted the Lord when he said to take Mary as his wife, to be the foster father of Jesus. Regardless of how that would affect maybe the dream he had for his life, he saw that the Lord had another dream and he said, let's do it. God entrusted St. Joseph to be the protector of baby Jesus, of Jesus as a child. And I think it would serve you well to entrust him to be the protector over your life. We can see throughout St. Joseph's courageous, selfless, confident acts throughout scripture, throughout his life, that he has a fatherly heart, that he is committed to the Lord's will. The Lord made him a dreamer, and I think he wants to do the same for you. One thing I appreciate is how the Lord was always very clear with St. Joseph, and I think we can return that by being clear in our intentions when we ask for St. Joseph's intercession. Advice via Father John Burns. For example, a few months back, a few months following a cross-country move, I was feeling a bit unsettled. I wasn't sure if it was my apartment, if it was a crisis of did I make the right decision, what have I done, but I had a lot of questions for the Lord and I was not feeling peace. So I took a look at the things I could control on a practical level and one of the things was my home wasn't really a place that I loved. It was set up kind of weird. It didn't have like a lot of furniture. I just had one love seat and I would usually sit on the floor and it was really weird. And one day after mass, I decided to take this advice and tell St. Joseph exactly what I needed. I told him, listen, I need a couch, preferably a futon, because I've been looking for one for months, nothing's coming up, I just wanna feel at home, you know? So within one hour of leaving mass, by the grace of God, I had found a brand new couch for free, exactly what I wanted, that I could just go pick up. And as I went to pick it up, this sweet man who was just giving it to me for free said, you know, I actually have like some more things, like some more furniture. I've got a coffee table, I've got a flat screen TV, TV. If you like just wanted to take anything else, I'm moving, so it's all yours. So, you know, I took him up on a few of his furniture offers, took all my stuff home, got it all set up with my roommate, and let me tell you what a difference it made. I remember looking at the couch and being like, wow, St. Joseph, you have really good taste because this just goes perfect. But in reality, I think St. Joseph providing for me in that way, for interceding for me in that way, was less about making my apartment look really cute and trendy and more about making me feel at home because that is his fatherly heart. He wanted me to feel at home. Even when I was far away from my family, he wanted me to feel like I belonged somewhere because St. Joseph makes a family.
There was a need in Jesus's life for an earthly father. And if there's a need in your life, something that feels like it's missing, I encourage you to entrust that intention to St. Joseph. Entrust it to his care. There are plenty of ways you can pray to him through a consecration, through a novena, through a simple, St. Joseph, give me a couch <laughs> while you're sitting in mass one day. Whatever it is, he wants to intercede for you. St. Joseph, protector of family life, pray for us. <laughs> Bye.